So here she is on the final countdown. Hey, Connie Cat. Who's a big girl? <coughs> oh, Chief. <Leave. laughs> and that's what happens when Chief gets too close to the pregnant Connie, isn't it, Connie, when you're not in the mood to play? So let's see if I just get a, a view and a good view of her. A bit sunshiny on. I can't read really her. Who's your babies today, Connie? Can we have a look? Can we have a look at Connie in her tummy? <coughs> no? Oh, they're getting a bit much now. Oh, who's a beautiful girl, Connie Cat? Everybody wants to see what you look like right now. Look at this tummy. Yes, look at that tummy full of babies. And you've been such a good girl, a good girl over the weekend, haven't you? Having to wait for us. I know, Chief's been messing her about, so obviously I've got to be a bit careful because she's not in the mood. Um, and you see, this is the difference between the loving Connie and the sod off and defensive Connie. So we want her to be loving, don't we, with the babies when they're born. We don't want to have all the uh, attacks, but... I mean, that's understandable. She's got a very precious cargo in there. And as you can see, Chief is really pissing her off and coming up to play and attack her. Isn't he? Yes, isn't he, Connie? Hey, you're not in the mood, are you? Not in the mood. Waggy, waggy, waggy. Don't say hello to mummy. You don't, get a, you don't bite mummy. Oh, you love mummy, hey? Can I just try and get over your tummy? She is such a wide carriage. Wow. I'm not touching you, darling. I just want to do a quick update. So today's Monday. We presume she's due the weekend. Or a bit before or a bit after. So she's in the final week. I know, I'm sorry. She's, she's only warning me. She's not being nasty, nasty. There you go, you had a quick look anyway. And we'll catch up with you later as to how big she's going to be. Sorry about that. Bye. Try again in the hallway just to get the lights a bit better. And you can see round her neck and her shoulders where... Um, it's a normal size. Look at that, sweetheart. Good girl, Connie. Floor's filthy, isn't it, eh? Got to do lots of housework. She is a big old size. Right, can we see your tummy wobbling? Can we see the size of you? Hey, Put my foot in, see if she's still, <coughs> yeah, she's still attacking. We're not going to get a very good video today, so that's all you're getting regarding her size at the moment. We'll try and update a bit more later. Bye for now. She's just jumped out. This is the last place at Rainbow, Connie and Bentley were all together with um, Chief um, at the vets. So what we're going to do, we're going to do the opening of the Ashes um, gift box and see what's in here. I don't want to do it one handed. So we'll just get it out. There's a nice little box in here. And we'll see what they've got inside for us. He's chasing flies. Gone from our sights, but never our memories. Gone from our touch, but never our hearts. With sympathy. Oh look, so there's a little tube. They rush us in. That is... Um, a bit of her fur, I presume. Yes, that is. Let's have a look in a minute. And then we're supposed to get a bit of her fur and her footprint. So let's see what we've got here. Excuse me, let's get close. This is to certify that Rainbow, the beloved pet of Mrs. Lawrence, was individually create, uh, cremated. What's my hand that? That's just a cremation certificate. I don't know where her paw print is. Let's so look in this one. I don't know, this that is a vicious. I don't know, I've not seen ashes before. Okay, let's open this one and see what she's put in. Oh my word, hang on. I don't feel them in the hands here. Oh look, paw prints, obviously, going to be in here. Oh my god, this is going to make me choke up a bit. And there is Rainbow's paw print. Crikey, that's emotional, isn't it? Wow. Okay, so we have her paw prints done. Um, and there's the tube, and that should be her 
yeah, that's going to be her rashes in there. I'm not going to open that up in case they blow away. And I presume this is going to be her bit of fur. They said they would be cutting off some of her fur for me. And it's in a lovely little bottle there. Anyway, so that's it. I'm going to put it back in. Um, emotional, but beautifully done. Really appreciate that. Um, and obviously we'll be taking her ashes to go and bury some by Sticky's Memorial Stone. And I'm also going to be scattering some up on Coniston water. I'm just going to have a moment right now just to... Where have we been here? Mm -hmm.